Vortex. I think that my debit card finally came. I, I assumed that I wasn't going to receive it. Is that it? <sighs> Should you activate it though? That's the real question. Yeah, <laughs> that is the real question. Guess what else came? More books, you guys. More books. Okay, you need to find your car key before it's too late. Okay, okay, we found it. <laughs> that didn't take long. <laughs> it usually takes a lot longer. Let's see. So apparently I, I got two copies of this book. So here's an additional copy of A Clockwork Orange. I guess I could just give it to somebody. Oh, man, I love that smell, though. You can't smell that through the vortex, but it smells like a library. It's one of my favorite smells in the world. Let's see. I've read this book before. It's very good. It pisses me off, though. I hate it when they do this shit. Whenever they put, like, a picture from the movie on, on the book, I fucking hate that. I won't see the movie either. This looks terrible. But, uh, this just sounds really good. It sounds interesting. I'm really excited about this. This is all about Ken Kesey. Everybody's heard of this one. It talks about adrenochrome. This one I felt like is pretty important, especially right now. But, uh, mm. This is the one that I'm the most excited about. Apparently it's like a sequel to 1984, but I just thought I'd buy it because that was like about the year that I was born in. So I just I thought it'd be interesting. But I'm, I'm really excited about these books. God, I love that smell. But, you know, there's, there's this chance that, you know, a strong chance, very, very high chance that, like, shit's going to hit the fan. And it's really going to stink. And so I figured I'd give myself, you know, some, some books to read. <laughs> you know, when the shit is stinking, I can just smell this, this, this beautiful smell of old libraries that will no longer exist because they will all be burned down. So, you know, <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? I hope that's not the case, but you just never know. It's good to prepare. But. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, we say goodbye to all of our trash. It's just a nice thing to do. Look at that.
That's red pepper. Because they can't stop fucking with shit. We've had to like rearrange all the items in the cabinets because they'll get into them. I caught Paisley trying to get into uh, the oatmeal last night. The oatmeal and the soup and like uh, they'll literally get into anything they can possibly get into because they're just horrible and they don't have a soul. Um, like, they're a lot like liberals. They're like, let's fuck with this. You know, we don't need to, but let's do it anyway. You know, let's, let's fuck up a good thing like Amy's nicely arranged cabinet. We don't have to do this, but we're going to just because we can. Um, <laughs> anyway, I think I've talked long enough. No, you haven't. You could talk longer. I, I know, I know that I could, but I probably shouldn't, right? He's being facetious. A man in my head. Um, yeah. I get to go to work tomorrow at like at three o'clock. It's gonna be really weird being there that early, but then I get to leave early too, so I could go do comedy and be with all my friends. But uh, I'm doing like more comedy shows because hopefully that's what's going to happen. And if the comedy scene in Nashville gets popping, that'd be pretty tight. That'd be pretty tight to be part of all that. I'm really glad that I'm not one of those crusty old Republicans like that can't, you know, hang out with people that have lifestyles that I don't agree with. You know, it's like they're inviting me to do comedy at a strip club and they're like, are you able to do that? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm able to do that. Like, if I have a reason to be there, I'll fucking go. But, I don't know, is that wrong? Is that like degenerate to do comedy at a strip club? I mean, why not? Why not do comedy at a strip club? Why not do comedy anywhere and everywhere? You know, it's like you either believe in the craft or you don't. But I don't want to be too much of a fucking, you know, righty tighty, you know, like, oh, I'm not going to go there because it's against my, my values. <laughs> it's like you'd be absolutely amazed how many people would be hard nosed about that sort of thing. And yet, they all have a smartphone and narcissistically point the finger at everybody else that behaves the same exact way that they do, only, you know, they behave this way wearing a different pair of pants. And whenever <laughs> you, uh, you're on this side behaving exactly like the other side behaves, but, but hey, you're on this side, so it's fine, you know. Don't you love those people? Don't you wish you could set them on fire? I do. I do. But anyway... I'm going to go.